that oh hurt. yeah that really that hurt, hurt. <laughs> didn't think it would hurt oh no that really hurt I think you like Did bashed it. a spot that's why it really hurt sorry oh, Frank it's just right there didn't think it would hurt because it's really yeah. light no <laughs> The cardboard box, look, the cardboard box went into my head. It's got all her makeup it's on it. It's got all my makeup on, that really hurt. It, it did hit my spot there. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're back. We're doing another little drive with me, but this time in a new car, and we're actually gonna have a little bit more of a road trip because we're still in lockdown, so there's not a lot of stuff near us that's open, and we also wanna go to Taco Bell. We previously filmed this video, and then when we got there, my camera died and it was actually Sophie's first time going to Taco Try Bell as one. well. So we're not going to have the first time reaction this time, but she can confirm it was I liked it, delish. we're going again. Yeah, so. so we're going again, obviously she liked it. But before we get on into the video, I quickly want to tell you guys about a product that I've recently picked up. Now, as you guys know, I do have a new car. So with a new car, I needed a new air freshener. So the car air freshener that I actually picked up is one from Carfume. So if you guys haven't heard of Carfume, then basically they are a car air freshener company which put like your perfume scents into like a little air freshener, which I I personally absolutely love I'm more of like a perfume kind of girl rather than like a fruity sort of like artificial sort of air freshener scent and um, I feel like sometimes they can make me feel a little bit sick whereas I absolutely love the smell of perfume and you can obviously get female perfume scents and you can also get male aftershave scents too they come in loads of different like shapes and sizes the two that I have in my car is the little glass bottle with the wooden tip and then I also have the car bear which is super cute and I feel like it's very girly which is obviously me I am a girl um, but you can like I say you can get loads of different scents you can get alien you can get sea I currently have Olympia in my car and it smells absolutely incredible every time someone comes in my car they compliment how nice my car smells so I love that as well as the perfume scents they obviously do like fruity cocktail scents and just like other different scents as well so if you're not a perfume or an aftershave kind of girl or guy then they will have something for you as well so if you guys are interested in purchasing any you can click the link in the description box down below they retail at 9.99 if you use the code jazz 10 then you will save some money so yeah i urge you to go and get them especially olympia because it smells absolutely incredible um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and set off now and we will see you when we get to taco bell because it's quite a while away <laughs> <laughs> Busy today. To be fair, we had to wait. Come we are lunch time today. Oh, it's dark on your face. <gasps> Look at the queue. Oh my god, is that? That is the queue. What the hell? I didn't know that was the queue. Why is it so long? We're gonna have to sit in this. Uh, right, so we're in the queue. The queue is bloody massive. It's literally all the way out of the car park. And oh, some woman telling people how long it'll is be. It's gonna tell us now how long we're gonna have to wait but if you think about it they'll tell you like say 40 minutes to prepare you in case it was 40 minutes yeah it's not it gonna be 40 be. minutes is it like last time i think it maybe took 15 maybe not even 15 minutes yeah it took but it'll just that. feel like it when you sat oh what? so they're doing takeaway so you can go in order and then take it away but yeah. we, should, we might as well just do just drive, do drive. The same thing it's gosh let's see this camera i know oh god i'm gonna run over <laughs> Hi. Yeah, today we've set a takeaway as well, so you can come in to store, order a takeaway, and then take it out. All right, perfect. And it just serves for waiting in the queue as long. We, we knew it. We knew it. We've got good well, listening. We, we heard got you. good lugs, you know. Lugs. Yeah, that's what you call your ears. Also, yes, I have no makeup on today, guys. I could not be bothered, and I'm not tanned at the minute. I'm gonna fake tan tonight. Cause it's a birthday tomorrow. Well, it won't be when you're watching. Yeah, this. it won't be when you're watching this. It'll, It'll be. be but it was the 2nd of July, so if you didn't wish me happy birthday, you're off to hell. Honestly though, on the way here, how good was it? We had old school tunes coming on. Throwback. Throwback tunes. I've actually made a playlist now a bit. Oh, have you? I just like this. Wow. I might have to add that playlist to my playlist. Add that playlist to your playlist. Because they, they all are Like if anyone tunes. listened to Pop, Pop party, party back in the day. Or I found one, some of them were from Kids Party. That's where I found some kids of them. Kids Party. And then now that's what 
I call Kong music. music. Yeah, I said that one too, didn't I? Because we used to have a CD. Yeah. I think you have it in your well, car. It was back in the day when CDs were only the. Don't the, you have it? The only thing that you could. Did you leave it in your old car? What? I swear you had the CD. Oh, I don't know. I think you did. I did have. I, I feel like we did have it, but I don't know if I had it in my car. I swear, when you first got your car, we because we'd play CDs. Oh yeah, you do have it. So unless you've still got it in that car. Well, it'd been in my very first car, not in my one that I've had now. Oh. Well, not this one, obviously. The one before. <laughs> but four cars, in case you didn't know. Well, we did have the CD. Yeah. I don't know why, but it just seems like. Oh. oh. What have you done? Oh, ah, it's glass. It's popping. <laughs> Jokes, it's just on my phone. Oh, my phone's stuck. Oh, no. Got it. Hey. Got it. She did it. What I'm looking at. Oh, cinnamon twists. I'm I, can't I can't see any twisty things. Craving value menu under the chips oh, picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. They look like, um, you know, the twirls. Yeah, crisps. they look like crisps. I think they're the cinnamon twists. Crisps. Don't you think it's weird how when you say crisps, you can't crisps. not see the sps yeah. at the end? Because it's the S P S. Crisps. Crisps. Crisp. Crisp. Crisps. Crisps. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Bet you're doing it now, aren't you? You're all. Bet you're all. It. Bet you're all you're trying all seeing, it. You're all oh, crisps. She, she's come out, but she's only got a drink. Yeah. So no wonder she went inside. Oh yeah. She's only get. She oh, get why did you come all the way here just for a drink? But do you know what I can't wait for? The Apple Tango. Yeah, they do so many more drinks options here. Nowhere does. Which is? Apple Tango. Brilliant. Any more, I swear. We're all doing, we're all doing. Good afternoon, welcome to Taco Bell. Just to let you know it's card payment only and I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, no, that's fine. Can I take your order, look, please? Yeah, so can I get two of the quesadilla cravings box? Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. that's perfect, that's thank you. Pounds. We'll over the next window. Yeah, thank lovely, you. thank you. What a lovely woman. What a very lovely woman. I feel like it's the same woman, you know? Because last time we came, we had a really, we had a nice, really woman. nice woman serve us. Great and, service. Um, and we said, when the video cut out, we were like, oh, we'll never Sorry. get to showcase that wonderful woman. Um, <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> yes. Literally in my car. <laughs> Oh, we went out. We went out the car. Surf it, that's literally. Well, he definitely he is had new. no idea what he was doing. He always gave him, us the wrong food. I asked him for sauce, and then he goes to me, Did you want sauce? Oh, sauces? Yeah, just ask you for just it. Just ketchup, please. We have fear around people seeing I just though. don't like the thought of someone watching me, like, film a video. Connor Kathleen, she always goes on the phone, uh, like, pretends that she's on the phone whenever she's. Oh, we can't park in here. It's got barriers everywhere. Oh, where are we gonna park? I say we just go back to Taco Bell. God, that's gonna look funny. What about there? Oh, no, but... All right. We're only eating. <laughs> God, we didn't have this we'll just be like, oh, Taco Bell car park, car park was full, full, even though they can see right here. But... No one's gonna say anything. Need a drink. Oh, you need to pause music. Oh, does that not? Yeah, it comes out. Oh, don't wreck my car though. Even... No, I don't even do anything. Mm, it's it's the this. chips. The chips are just delicious. The chi mm -hmm. oh, that was really hot when I bit into that chip. Uh, like... Ah, I'm right in the centre. Ever since fast food places have opened, We've literally been eating so much fast food again. Mm -hmm. Like we've been been quite good throughout lockdown. Like, don't get me wrong, we have had like fast food at home, but like until all the places were open, we, we were still food. like dieting sort of. And then I wasn't dieting. I was. Um and then all the fast food restaurants opened and then back at it again with the unhealthy food. Back at it again with the white things. Taco. <laughs> taco. Isn't that like a taco song? You know what I mean? I don't know. I told you how they were. <laughs> That's not right. Mm. Did you see Anna's video where she went to Taco Bell with her, with her and mum? Mm, no. She said my name. Um, Atticus got the chocolate quesadilla. 
Oh, and he opens it and goes, what not What a ripper! <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Made me absolutely hold. What? what he got. Oh, it was just like a chocolate quesadilla. So it was like a rat with chocolate in. And he yeah. opened it and <laughs> there was like much chocolate in it. So he was yeah, like, I've what seen a that ripper. on TikTok, I think. Because I asked you guys on Instagram if there was anything that you wanted us to talk about in this video. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. It's where that one a out. lot more goes on and like if you want to get involved in other videos i post it on there i'll put Sophie's instagram on the screen as well because she has instagram too believe it or not mm -hmm. starting off with something quite positive who was your favorite youtubers well we both like amy menzies yeah we love, love amy's videos every and video i like watching how we met amy is because she was a viewer of ours she came to one of our meeting groups yeah she like came to two three years ago three years ago it was in before Leeds. Pro my prom mm. and she was a viewer and then but she was like vlogging it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then I subscribed. I subscribed to her then as well. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll subscribe to your channel sort of thing. But then it weren't until, like, I feel like this year she's really had like a glow up and her channel mm. is just thriving. Love like, her. I literally love all the videos. Like, I sit and watch all the videos. Every boyfriend. single time one of her videos is in my subscription box, I will watch it. Mm. But yeah, her and her boyfriend have like the perfect relationship. They are so cute. They are literally goals. I want that. But then another one of my favourites would be Connor Kathleen. She's a, an Australian YouTuber. No, I, oh, no, I do know who that is, isn't it? Mm. You've said about her before. Yeah. I'm trying to think who I like watch. I also watch Aspen and Parker, their vlog oh, channel. I love them. Love them. And their baby is so cute. Like, literally so cute. See, like, I feel like I don't have anyone different besides, like, our friends. Mm. Like, I just watch our friends' channels. Oh, my God. Ma'am. Sorry. There's a man. Someone's just pulled up. Practically next I can't year. think of someone different. Like people always ask like, oh what's mm. some like different YouTubers? Oh my friend Poppy. Shout out to oh, Poppy. Has she started she one? She started YouTube. To be fair, I don't know if she's uploaded like another video. Mm. But shout out to my girl Poppy. A lot of people might know her because she's from TikTok. I was gonna say people might know recognise her name from TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Raven Elise, I really like her as well. She's no she's American. See, I don't really watch any, like, Americans, or... But, um, she has a little daughter as well, and her little girl is so cute as well. I love her videos. But she does, like, all types of videos. She does, like, vlogs. She does, like, mum vlogs. She does, like, videos where it's just, like, kid-based. So it's, like, for, like, Zaya, which is what her daughter's <laughs> called. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chip went down the wrong hole. Um... But yes, I like their videos. I'll link the vid I'll link the people we uh, mentioned in the description box down below in case you do want to check them out. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I'm a bit of chicken fell out. Splat. Well, I want my dance um, duo name was Splat. Yeah, me and Mia. Do you not remember? What do you mean your dance name was called Splat? Right, we used to call ourselves Splat as like our team name. Splat. Oh, this one's a good one. Advice on getting over a boy you never officially dated. Now, I feel like we've all been in this situation. We've all been there. You basically are dating them, but you're also not. Don't go back there. there's never been the label put there that you are dating. And honestly, girl, I feel your pain. I think it's mm. more heartbreak there yeah. than there is when you know that you're together sort of thing. Not like you're together, but like... Yeah, like... You know that you're dating sort of thing. Relationship. Yeah. It's hard to not go back, but don't go back. Yeah. Like, but I can't talk. Jazz probably can't talk. At the same time, I've always said everyone deserves a second chance because people can change, but... Yeah, a second chance. But I always say, fool, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Because mm -hmm. that's basically like you've made the same mistake twice. Yeah. Um, so not Give to do it again. Give a second chance because anyone can just make a mistake. Mm. But then after that, it's... But it is one of the things, I think from the beginning you just need to... I think communication's a really big thing. Yeah. And I think that's the thing, when... It's a relationship where you're not actually like properly dating. You haven't said that you're dating. It's that lack of communication. Nobody really knows you what is know going where on. You stand. So you need to be asking like what it is that they want from this or where they see this going, that sort of thing. Because you don't want to be getting into this thinking, oh my god, we're gonna get together, and then he'd just be like, oh no, we're not even dating. Like you're gonna be like, so what? Like what? So, I think communication is the main thing. Yeah, just evaluate the situation. I think every person's different, so you have to 
work the situation out differently for each person. Get over it by getting drunk with your mates. Um, Just be with your friends because friends are cool. Right, I'm on my uh, churros now. And then it comes, it's actually chocolate sauce. Mm. We thought it was caramel sauce. Yeah, I googled it. But it looks like caramel. Maybe it is. Maybe it's like... And it smells. I just think it's probably Maybe a Maybe it's chocolate caramel. Yeah. But these are actually so good. Someone oh, said so about good. periods. And like... Like a first time story or... First time story. I've said this before. I don't know what video I've said it in. But my first period story is pretty rubbish. Nice. I was just at work and when I came on my period and I was like, oh, hello. So then I messaged my mum and my mum brought me some stuff. That was literally it. I literally woke up one morning. I thought I kind of felt like I'd like weed myself. You sort of know the feeling, like obviously when you're on, when you've had your period, you know the feeling. You have the feeling where it feels like you've wet yourself. So I just went straight to the toilet, and then there it was. I forgot any embarrassing. I don't think I've ever had really oh. embarrassing. Where was it? You have. You've got one. A we little... went on holiday somewhere. We want to play him. Do you remember? And I leaked on my bottoms. Oh my god! And I had to walk around with my coat tied around my waist. Yeah. I don't know where we were going. Are we going to Maga? Might have been. Yeah. It was when we were doing like one of our party holidays. And like we were on the plane, and I had a feeling that it was like that I'd come on my period. Yeah, I think it was because then and when we, we stood got, when up we got there. when we were coming off, I was like, Jess, can you just check? Like, have I come on my period? And I had mm. in my great joggers. Yeah. So that was great. I and remember. Obviously, I'd tell her. I'm not just going to let her walk around <laughs> bleeding. Of course, I'd tell her. I'm not just going to let her walk around bleeding. It's like one of my friends, she leaked on my bed and it was a brand new mattress. I'm like, oh, I remember that. I wasn't bothered, but it was the fact it was my brand new mattress. Mm. And I was just like, oh, mm. God. Like, right. Got someone else's blood all over mm. my bed. Yeah, it's when it's someone else's blood, you do feel a bit weird, don't you? Yeah. Like, that is your blood. I was like, you can't help it. Like, mm. you don't know how much blood's going to come out of your vagina when you're asleep. Mm. Like, mm. you know. See, I'm normally all right in the night. It's in the morning, it comes rushing out. Mm. It's literally like you move and then you're like, you move. Oh my God. Yeah, you like, know the need to get to the toilet right now. You like roll over and you work, when you've woke up, you're like, yeah. And it just, shite. it's like the floodgates have opened. It is floodgates. Coming out. <laughs> the floodgates. <laughs> I'm saying I'm like this licking this like mm. <laughs> And I just realised I'm making it sound like periods are really Scary. horrible and like so much blood flying around everywhere. <laughs> oh someone said when do you think we'll get back to the normal? Mm. Like the normal. Because obviously we don't really know what the normal's gonna be. I feel be. like July still won't be. Obviously on the fourth they're like letting pubs and stuff, but like clubs aren't open yet. Like it's still like socially distanced like post offices and stuff like that so mm. i'm gonna guess middle of august see i'm thinking like november because that is weird and it's funny. like they're not gonna be able to open clubs and stuff until we can literally stand next to each other and yeah, be fine completely normal because there's no way in hell you can social distance in a club like there's literally you can't you just can't do it you just you can't they're so tight and yeah. squashed together. Mm. So, who knows? I think it will be like November. This year is really October, ruined. November. Yeah, it could be October. Mm. But like schools, people are supposed to be going back in September. Mm. So I don't know how everything's going to work, but yeah. it's slowly getting like eased back out. Like it feels kind of back to normal. Like if we're in town and stuff, it sort of just looks. Mm. Normal. Yeah, there's a lot more people out and about. That was delicious, guys. Oh, well, still eating mine, but well, no, would you a date a guy shorter than you? Honestly, I'm gonna say no. See, now it depends. Well, if they're an inch smaller yeah, than me, it depends how yeah, short. Sure, like it's probably not gonna be that obvious. I just have but to like wear we're flats quite all the time. short anyway. We're five foot five. Yeah, five, 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 five foot, foot six. six. So we're quite short anyways. So then if there was a guy shorter and it's like, for nights out, we'll wear heels. Like, I've got high heels. So I wouldn't want to be towering over someone. Like, that is sort of yeah. the thing I wouldn't. Like, imagine your wedding day and yeah. you're, like, towering over. As long as he's taller than me, like, five foot yeah. seven plus. Yeah. Lovely. Sorted. And I feel because like that's average height anyway. I can wear, guys. like, heels. And, yeah, I might be a little bit taller than him, but it's because I've got heels on. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be taller than him. Just, just normally. Like, yes, yeah, normally. Yeah. But I just, I don't know. I just... Because a lot of people personal. are like, I want a six foot. 
Yeah, six foot boyfriend. And six I'm like, foot, six foot one is like perfect height. But like, but I'm, I'm not, not like gonna, that. I'm just as long as they're taller than me. But yeah, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, I want, I want that. Like, that's all that I'm going for. But like, six foot one. That's how tall Byron is. And the only reason I say that is because uh, when I give Byron a hug, I just fit perfect. Just fits into and that. like, that is what I would just love mm. for like a boyfriend to be. But at the same time, if he's taller than me, it's still gonna be like the same. How many Mackies have you had since it reopened? Honestly, we've not had that many. We're not I think that... I've maybe had about five. How many have I had? Probably like two. Five, six maybe? I've probably had two. I'm not, not that, that like, many. bothered. Like, if Taco Bell was where we lived, yeah, we'd I'd probably have had more. that more. Yeah. Favourite musical? Now, does that mean like movie musical or like ones we've seen? I was thinking like actual like musical. So I would have said Aladdin. Aladdin. So good. We saw it in London. So for, good. We got it for mum for Christmas. Christmas. And then obviously we got ourselves the tickets and as yeah. well. Because we really wanted to go and we were like, oh, we'll, we'll just take we'll go half and get mum. Yeah, because the tickets are expensive. Like, they were. Because we were sat really, like, not really close to the front, but like, a, quite a few rows back so it was like perfect view but yeah. we had such good seats and it was just amazing it was funny mm. as well like it, it had different things to the movie like because obviously yeah. it's like more musical and it was really like dancey and like energetic it, like all the colours it, it was so fun I would highly recommend um, but then I liked everybody's talking about Jamie I saw that on a school not. trip that was really good I liked Wicked I feel like that's yeah classic. Wicked's a classic I think that was the first one we saw wasn't it Wicked. yeah I think so we got it off mum then we went to see Shrek. Shrek. Which oh, was good. I did really like Shrek. Did that for Jazz's birthday. Yeah. Did we do one for mine? <gasps> Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. Dirty oh dancing. my god, how could we forget? I was it? thinking, like, I got you that one. I was yeah. Thinking, you took me somewhere. Oh, like, the Dirty Dancing was Dirty really dancing. good. Okay. And they even did like the sex scene, everything. Oh, like, it, it was, was funny. So it was good. funny. Like, yeah, like I didn't expect it to be funny, but yeah. like it was because obviously they had to turn like that like sex scene into something for a stage so they did yeah. make it quite funny like because he was, was literally stood naked yeah i mean you didn't Full see his bum. front you just saw his back yeah but yeah but it's just i think because i love dirty dancing so much yeah, like so all fun. the music and stuff was... i've loved every musical that we've watched but, yeah like, every not been... single one is good yeah. you can't pick a favorite there's not been one that i've gone to and been like oh that was a bit i would, I would say good. if any aladdin yeah was just it was like all around all around yeah but yeah, well, that was it for today's video, and I really hope you guys did enjoy it. We enjoyed our taco bell. I was just about to say, I thoroughly enjoyed my food. Um, I hope this video was somewhat entertaining. Um, let me know if you want to see another one of these videos. Um, hopefully, when lockdown lifts, I'll be able to do it with some other people as well. Um, I know you guys do love it with Sophie, but I feel like it might be quite nice to get some other YouTubers on here, some or um, some friends, um, and then we can have a bit more of a conversation as well. And also, let us know if you want to see us eat a different type of fast food restaurant Eat a different type of um, food but yeah because i'm sure we'll be down for that uh, but yeah like i said that is everything make sure you give the video a huge thumbs up if you do enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already also don't forget to check out carfume like i mentioned in the intro and yeah that is everything so i'll see you very very soon with another video bye Later.